showing you how I curl my hair. Um, I'm going to be using a one and a half inch curling iron with a clamp, not a wand. Um, I got this from Sally Beauty. It ran about $35. Um, and I really like it because the clamp is really loose. Uh, it's not tight, which some of you may not like. Um, but Conair is a really good brand and really affordable. Uh, the one and a half inch by Conair probably runs about $14, which isn't bad at all because before this curling iron, I had Conair and I used it for years. It lasted me for years. Um, and I'm going to be using a hair clip. No hair products or anything because my hair is pretty much dried and really dead, so it holds in the curls even better, which is good and bad, I guess. But um, if you have like virgin hair that you don't dye or anything like that, you might want a smaller curling iron just because it holds in curls better. And hairspray um, every in between um, layers or hairspray at the end. You don't want to hairs over hairspray because the hairspray will weigh down your curls. Um, so let's get started. Okay, first off, I'm gonna be tying up, not tying up, clipping up my hair. The first layer, which is probably about right here. Feels like half the head, but it's not. Um, clipping it up. And I split it down the middle in the back. See, it's not that much hair. And how I curl it is. probably about two strands on each side and I curl it away from my face See, and I don't hold it in for long at all the next strand I also curl this one away from my face so if you're curling on your right side you turn out right and if you t curl on your left side you turn it to the left the curling iron to the left and what I meant by loose, the, the clamp is really loose. So my hair like falls out while I'm curling it, which I don't mind because I like, I like it that it's not so tight where it stays really curly when I release it. You don't want to keep it on too long because then your curls are going to be really hot and tight. And how I do this is I just grab the straight hair and just start curling. This pro my process isn't really perfect at all. It's kind of like whatever. I don't part it evenly or anything like that. I just curl what I find that's straight. Kind of eyeball it. And flip it to this side. See? You can see the straight hair. And it's okay if you recurl it other curls. It won't hurt it. And every time I pull hair out to curl, they're all different sizes. Like this one's a lot of hair. Others may be little hair. Because my theory is, if you curl, if you part it perfectly, evenly, same amount of size of hair and everything, then it's going to turn out too perfect. If you do it messy, then you'll get messy curl. And you see that I only did three layers, and this is my last layer, and I just pull out, see how much hair that is? So I just like, split into smaller sections. And I'm still doing, I'm still curling it outwards, away from my face.
and the heating on the curling iron is always medium. On this curling iron, there's 300, 350, 400, and 450, and I always do it on either 350 or 400. And I forgot to mention that um, before you curl your hair, if you just showered, you have to dry it completely. It can't be damp or wet while you're curling because you will not get any curls out of it. They'll fall even faster. So what I do is I blow dry my hair completely dry and then I do my makeup and let it air dry. So that's about blow drying for about 10 minutes air drying about the time that I do my makeup, about 20 minutes, which should be good enough for it. And when, when I blow dry it, I blow dry on hot, and then towards the end, after it's completely dry, I blow dry on cool. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you next time.